quiet. Is it quiet? It's like silent in there. Is it quieter than this chat? Because I don't think you get quieter than this chat. Honestly, I think it's a. Little, I think this chat's more active today than that chat. Even though this chat is just me and you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Wow. I mean, the poll's in there too. It, yeah, but the the poll doesn't talk much. No, nobody talks much aside from us. Because, you know, they're not in the series. Why aren't they in the series? I don't know. Why aren't they in the series? I don't know. All right, we're going to meddle again. <laughs> Randy Orton, you will love Bubba Ray. Oh. Ha! <laughs> ha! All right, kick off! Tiger has shit planned. Dude. I do, I do. I have, I have plenty of shit planned. I got more shit planned than your mom. We booked in matches for SummerSlam. Though. We did. And wow. we're going to kick things off with Kevin Owens having a major success. It's a 10-minute promo. This is how you know it's mint shit. Does he have the title or is he flinging about in the ring? He has the title. Is it on his shoulder or is it like on the floor? Has he stepped on it? It's on his shoulder, putty. Let me tell my story. Okay. So we're going to kick off with Kevin Owens, and he's in the ring with the title, and he talks about how last night he did what nobody ever thought he could. What a certain somebody, Jim Cornette, Jim Cornette, chance break out somewhere off to the crowd. You get a little smirk. Nobody would get that reference. Uh, no, not <laughs> many people would. Um, not in that crowd. True, true. Not in my crowd, at least. <laughs> um you know, that he was down his entire life at one point. Somebody, well, we'll throw in somebody, told him that he would uh, only be wrestling in front of crowds of hundreds of people in his life. And now he is world motherfucking champion of WWE. Well, for all. Yeah, but world, world champion. He's a world champion in WWE, all right? He's... You're fine. I'm a world champion in WWE. Sure. Yeah. And this belt... This belt is not only a symbol of not what... A belt, I, it's a championship title. Not a belt. And this belt... Ooh, you have a vagina. Oh my god. Is not only a representation of what I can do, it's how far I can go. Are you saying he just, he can and he will? And I don't give a single fuck. Tosses it on the ground, stomps on it, and leaves. It's a new belt. Yep. It's brand new. Exactly. It's got like, shiny. Is that noise the sound of him just masturbating all over it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then, like... quick cut. To backstage, where Vince McMahon is having a full-on mental <laughs> breakdown. That's it. Four minutes, just like ah! he's just like, what am I gonna do? Oh my I'll god! I'll get you, Austin. <laughs> I'll get you, Austin. <laughs> I can't even. Oh, jeez. Uh, and then we're going to move straight into an Apollo Cruz must redeem himself match. <laughs> Apollo Cruz's road to redemption is steaming on ahead. <laughs> yep. This week, Devon Diddley. Devon Diddley. No, he already fought Devon Diddley. <laughs> <laughs> did he? <laughs> he did. He did. Uh, this week, Axel. Hey. Hey. Like he's been at this point, he's redeeming. He's been redeeming himself for longer than he like built himself up to the title the first time. Yes. <laughs> this is a poor man's road to redemption. <laughs> Just like shh. And then we're going to have. Apollo, call out Corbin, and then Corbin will just come down and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Is Corbin you were speaking of Jeremy or Big Banter? Big Banter. Oh, I was hoping he was calling out Jeremy Corbin. No, I don't know who that is. A socialist individual. Oh. 
then we are going to have a number one contenders match to determine who is the who is the number one contender. Do you mean the number two contenders? <laughs> no. And we're going to have Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy take on the Diddleys. <laughs> What about the Vaude villains? They were also in that four way. They were the ones that they were the ones that were pinned. Oh. That's oh. that's actually a lie. I, I am at least twenty percent sure that Enzo was Pretty the fun, one. Wasn't it? I, no, Enzo <laughs> was pinned. <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine. You know what? I wanna stick I wanna <laughs> stick to the script then. Screw it. Putty, you forced me to do this. I didn't do anything of the sort. <laughs> this is gonna go ten minutes. I would have accepted a simple five minute explanation angle. <laughs> And gotch, the VOD villains are number one contenders. They weren't even supposed to be in this match, Mauro! Yep, exactly. You've done this, buddy. Now you have to explain <laughs> yourself to all these people. There's like one dude in the crowd. Hello. Hi there. So, I didn't do this. <laughs> He's lying to you. Okay. Uh, then we're going to get a hype bikini contest. Ooh. Yeah. Then we're going to get a hype uh, 2v2 interview. When's this match taking place? SummerSlam. Oh shit, you're build. Wow, you've you have not you've you've not taken your time with this build at all. No, no, this is this. <laughs> we have is, now got six weeks, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is this is the tags. We're just going to throw them all together a couple times and see how it works out. Mm. Mm, okay, it'll work. Um, and they say, you know, okay. Step, step up, ye old boys. Old end boys. No. Oh. Don't do this. Don't do this. All right. Uh, what? What, what was that? What was that? It's talking to the audience. Okay, it's called breaking the fourth wall. Oh. So then, Seth Rollins is going to come out with his title. By the way. All my champions on my brand are heels. That's not true. Owens is a baby face to me. Okay, that's fine. You can you can think whatever you want. Fuck Vince McMahon. <laughs> okay. So, Rollins announces that there is going to be like a fatal four-way or something. Because <laughs> Rollins has this power. He does. He does. Uh, between... It Fuck AJ in there since he was the semifinalist. These mother, these motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, 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 Sammy. Uh, and that gotcha. those four will face each other in a fatal four-way next week. By the way, can I just for... point out that I don't think Ricochet or Volador have victories yet on screen? <laughs> they won Torsho matches. That's probably true. <laughs> it's a slow build, putty. <laughs> Fine, fine. You want to? No, no. Ty Dillinger <laughs> and Mike Kyoto. <laughs> Just throw Kyoto to the dogs. First, first chance you get. Dean Malenko. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, it'll work. You're the worst. <laughs> Just do Volador and Ricochet. It's fine. No, Volador, Ty Dillinger. <laughs> Ricochet it is, and that they will. Uh, Take the six if you want the storyline to do well. Okay. And that right. these four will take on each other next week to figure out who will uh, face him at uh, SummerSlam. The, the show. SummerSlam. Yep, that's the one. Remember, you only have four total matches for SummerSlam, so that's fine. The tag match and the cruiserweight would be two so far. Yep. Okay. I don't have a tag match at mine. That's fine. You, you know, uh, the and versus then... the club are a perfect tag match to have on the show. Obviously, come on. That's what people want. What does everybody hey, want? What does everybody need? I know you might... Hey, it, it, the offer is there. If you want the... Uh, the Usos to challenge for the titles and those that I'm willing to do that. Epico versus Seth Rollins. Okay. 
It's because well, Epico impressed. Epic. Epico impressed on the Heat. We really should change the names to Heat and Velocity. We should. They were loaded. And that's the main event of Mania. Oh, I see. Yep. Are, you, are, icy. are you sure it wouldn't involve? No, definitely not. Definitely. Not. Okay. I, I don't know if I totally agree with the decision, but like. I think it's gonna be great. I mean, I haven't told you the semi main yet. So. How, like. Is the build going to go just like that though? Uh, there might be some changes here and there involving the dog, but. Like probably. Okay. I don't, like I, I think it'll work. I mean, you'll get good ratings. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how interesting it will be. Mm, well, we'll see. You know, Folly is pretty good. True. True. Okay. So what are you doing here? Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wandering around in the dark. Tucker's plans have run out. <laughs> <laughs> I have run out of my plans. Uh. Let's chuck Tyler on a show. Tyler has been on a show for nearly a month. Oh, shit. I don't know where I read this, but somebody said a very good quote the other day that the, the, the perfect strategy to using Vince Russo in a booking situation is get him to start the book and then get every, anyone else to finish the book. <laughs> and you're kind of the same way. <laughs> you start, start the idea, but do not implement the idea. <laughs> We're going to have... Sin oh, shit. Fuck. Huh? And Kara is hurt still. That's fine. My Work bad. Through it. My bad, Kara. It My bad, Kara. No, no. I don't do this. I mean, I don't usually either. But if it was Sin Cara, I would. I know you would. Primo, fuck it. We're giving Tyler a win. We're giving Tyler a win. Canadian pride. Let's go. Is he Canadian? Yeah. No. Oh my God, he is. Lance Storm trained him. Lance Storm trained that? Yep. Lance, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know what? To hell with it. We're giving him promo time. <laughs> this is how desperate we've gotten, okay, buddy? <laughs> I don't need to take this shit. Hey, dude, I don't worry. My mid card is absolutely in tatters. I've resorted to giving 30 pop women time. <laughs> Then again, I'm enjoying that. That's so awesome. Four minutes. Because they're fabulous! Yay! <laughs> and in the main yeah, event... those of you not watching SmackDown, you should, because the BFFs are on there. Buddy, actually, my, uh, my shows are being more watched than yours. Uh, that's only true in certain... Like, like, some of my shows are more watched than some of yours. At least they were yesterday. Mm. And my like-to-dislike ratio is better. This match happened yet? No. Oh. Luckily. <laughs> <laughs> As he literally looks away from his screen. <laughs> yeah, my Smack SmackDown episode 4 has more views than Raw episode 4 despite going up an hour later. Creepy. Raw episode 3 has a ton more views than SmackDown episode 3, though. Yeah. I guess because Tucker is an asshole is a clickbaity title. <laughs> yeah. Raw, hey, look, SmackDown episode 2 has more views than Raw episode 2. And then Raw episode 1. So we're literally week in, week out, we trade. Episode 1, you won. Episode 2, I won. Episode 3, you won. Episode 4, I won. So then backstage, uh, we see Vince McMahon. Uh, this is after the main event. Uh, and you see you see the wheels turning. Oh, okay. As yep. he looks at, in, he's in the big E position, looking at the monitor. Yes. Okay. We're actually going to chuck in a segment here in which... You've got 19 minutes left to book. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I'm going to have another match in which uh, women. Vince need McMahon women. Uh, talks to his assistant, Ty Dillinger. Okay, <laughs> this is official now. Yeah, and <laughs> says he needs to find somebody to take that belt off of Big Kev. Is Ty gonna like ask him to like pick Ty? No. Um. Where is Shane and Stephanie? Where is Brock? What, like, what is? It's okay. What are they doing? You have not. They're not here. They're not here. None of them. They've gone on vacation. All of them. All together. 
<laughs> the Brock Lesnar Stephanie and Shane vacation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's Brock on like a beach sunbathing with Stephanie and Shane. Shane and Steph with that sexual tension. Don't know what Brock's doing. <laughs> Brock's like off in the corner staring at a picture of Paul with like a tear going down his eye. <laughs> yeah, Paul with Shinsuke. Like, <laughs> wow. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> no, no, it's Brock and CM Punk like, oh, that fucking WWE shit, right? <laughs> Am I uh... right? <laughs> well, hey, when are you going to debut in the UFC? Never. <laughs> Never. Never. Ever, I'm just man. working the marks. I'm just working the marks. <laughs> and then Braun's got to come in. And, is, oh. is, is it funny that's, that you, the Brock's going to make his return to the UFC before Punk makes his debut? <laughs> yes. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> the giant titan. That's the guy you're looking for. That is the guy I'm looking for. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Who fuck? Who are you lo- hiring local talent for? Braun. Oh look, it's Mike Adamley. Where? Up there. Mike Davidson. You remember Mike Adamley? I do. Jeff. Was he, he had a catchphrase. What was his catchphrase? Jeff Hardy Harvey. What? Do you remember when Mike Adamley was the GM of Raw though? No, I wasn't around then. Ah, I remember that. I he heard had a catchphrase. What was it though? Ah, oh, I can't it, remember. Was it, it was like? So- Everything's better with Adam Lee. Or something stupid. Might something stupid like that. Like G. Like that's why I kind of hate the concept of GMs these days. Because between like, 08 and like 2014, WWE kind of fucked up. <laughs> like the only person who was an attractive, like a, like a good GM around then was AJ. <sighs> AJ's GM room was great. Nah, it was pretty shit. Really? Yeah. Didn't like it? Nah, it was just kind of dumb. It, it felt like they threw her in there because we don't really have anybody for you to fight, but we want to keep you on TV. So I was kind of like, that's I like that though because the women's division at the time was so awful that they actually elevated her to be an important part of the show, even though the women's division was shit. Braun versus she was Zach. a really good character, in my opinion. Braun versus Zach. Poor Zach. No, good for Braun. Yeah, yeah, good. This build is fucking happening. Like it's in, it's in front of me now. Is it building two? Braun. He doesn't have a match at SummerSlam yet. He's being a dude. He's running the game, bro. Working the marks. Braun versus Triple H at SummerSlam. He's working the marks. Wait, is Triple H on vacation with Staff Shane and, and Brock? No. Oh, what's Trips doing? We don't know. Okay. We don't know what but he's we, doing. We know for sure. It's on a WWE.com article that they're on vacation. All Shane's three of them? Happy. Yeah. All, all, all three yeah. of them are together. Pick, are there picks? Yes. <laughs> okay. Is that the newest photo album? Check out the McMahon plus Brock Lesnar vacation. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yes. Okay. Is it called the fuck, is it called the fuck John Cena vacation? <laughs> Backstage, uh, just so I can uh, kill some ratings here. Vince McMahon is seen talking to Ric Flair. Chris Jericho is not on this show. He is not. You know, the guy who, like, come in and then his last pay for you. Yep. <laughs> that was yesterday. Yeah. That's real. Yep. Shit, that's that's too okay. Bring that up a bit. Wait, why is Alicia Fox in an angle? Uh, cause she's with Braun. Yeah. Remember, she found Braun in the forest. Uh, what's what are they doing in that angle? She's just kind of like, this is Braun Strowman. He's refocused now. Okay, so she's talking. Totally. That's why she's rated. Is she rated? No, not at all. She's not talking. No, it's just her it's kind of standing mute in the background and probably being like, <laughs> This angle is... It's so terrible. Very confusing. <laughs> I mean, people are scared of Braun. The ratings are showing that. It's just, we, they don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> people are like, mm, what is he doing? Uh, fine. We're going to get a bit of I a... Mean, it's, it's not as bad as my taker literally having meaningless vignettes all fucking month. <laughs> How about this then? 
boom, there's your there's your Jericho. What is he doing? It's just it's just showing last night where they're like, oh, oh okay. Jericho lost. <laughs> Mostly, this show started so well. It's okay. And then just goes so downhill from a like creative point of view. It's okay. It's gonna work. Let's run. The, let's, It'll, ratings will be fun. Let's ratings run it. Randy Orton fucking Del Rio looks great. This isn't about. Nope. <laughs> this is. Mm, yeah, Vince. What's Four up? minutes though. What's up? Minutes, though. Oh yeah, fair enough. What's up, bro? Wow. Yeah, Apollo's people are liking there. the Apollo Cruz's, redemption, uh, Ron. Redemption. <laughs> Where's Baron on this show, by the way? Right, oh, yeah, he's all, no, right he comes here. Out, he comes out, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. It's all I expect. Like I don't expect fireworks. I mean, did they not have fire? Wow. Fireworks. Fireworks fucking, have fucking been listen found. Listen to Buddy. Shit happens. <laughs> fucking Bubba. Bubba is Jesus. Bubba should get a singles run, man. Yeah. Bully Ray. Bully fucking Ray. Powerbombs Divan. Powerbombs Stephanie. Powerbombs Brock Lesnar. This goes through everyone. Oh my god. If I could pull this off, he could fall right into a plan. They don't Ooh. want none. They don't oh, want... AJ Styles doesn't think he's actually on oh. the show either. The... Nice. Ooh. That Seth's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. Rollins is fucking fire. Fun fact: Reigns had a better rating than him in ring this week. Ooh. <laughs> Ty Dillinger's getting there. I mean, Vince is is there. Yes. Look, Tyler got promo time this week. It's Tyler. Wow. It's Tyler. Go, Tyler. Hey, trained by Lance Storm, man. Yeah, that's what he's doing. All right, that's all right. Yeah, I mean, just highlights of last man, last yep. night. Wow, yeah. Yep, just get those two in there. Yep, wow. Bomb this right quick. Wow, this actually... This was fine. This held up. Braun almost outworked Zack Ryder. <laughs> almost. <laughs> People are scared of Braun. They still don't know why, though. Yep, that's all right. I was surprised he didn't do better, actually. And he had a great performance. Did. Randy's very good. Mm-hmm. Awesome Here's way to one. end it out. Yeah, Vince just staring at a monitor for six minutes. Yes! <laughs> Broke the streak Ooh. of 88s. Well, it was an 86 yesterday. Shut up. <laughs> Nobody even knows who you are. My name is Putty. You can find me over at Matsudairo, the YouTube channel. M-A-T-S-U. That's enough from you.